Okay, guys, you should be uh, have read this problem. Um, this is percent protein in five food products. They're giving you the percentages. They're not giving you the amount of protein. They're giving you the percentages of protein. And it says that this is the cost of 10 grams of the product. So what is 10% of 10 grams? One gram. So product A has one gram of protein in it, and it costs, it says, $2. And what they want is which of the five products supplies the most protein per dollar. So you're supposed to write the amount of protein over the cost or the amount of dollars. So for A, how much protein does it have? One gram over $2. Now, you can write this as decimals, which is probably going to be the easiest way to compare them. What is one divided by two as a decimal? 0 0.5. And this is grams per dollar. That is what we're writing here. Now, do the exact same thing for B and C and D. Uh, D, you don't even have to do, it says, because uh, it doesn't even include it. It only does to E. We could do D, but uh, it, it didn't give us that as a choice. So make sure you guys finish this on your own. Um, by the way, how many grams does food B have in it? How many grams of protein? 1.5, because 15% 10, uh, of 10 is 1.5 grams, and it costs $2.20. And you can get that as a decimal. Use your calculator, find the decimal, and compare it. You're looking for the biggest one. Now, of course, I would have put five choices, but SAT only likes to have four choices. I would have put all four, uh, rather all five. All right, number 18. Um, I gave you a shortcut that only works on isosceles trapezoids. There's another one that you can use for other kinds of trapezoids. But for this particular one, because it's isosceles, I can take this whole triangle and put it right here. And it's a rectangle now. And do whatever it says down here for the rectangle, and it's pretty easy to get. What you can do is choose a size. You can make this any size you want, and I recommend using really easy numbers. Uh, generally, I use even numbers, and I try and make them really easy, like maybe 10 and 8 or 10 and 6. Uh, it looks to me like this is maybe 10, and this is maybe 6. That's the ones I used before. Um, you could put any number. You could put 20 and 10 if you wanted to. You all see what I mean? It doesn't matter what numbers you use here. In fact, I think I am going to make it 20 and 10, and I'm going to follow uh, the same thing that it says to do here. Uh, use this, find its area, and then change it, and then find the area of the new one. For this last part, for this problem, it says that there, last year they grew 140 pounds of tomatoes and 60 pounds of raspberries. And what they want you to do is see what percent it went down over that year. So what you're going to do is take this 200 pounds and see how much it went down. What is, what is the change in yield? And read what it says. It says that the tomatoes declined by 20%. So the 140 pounds of tomatoes went down 20%. And the raspberries, that's the 60 pounds, went down 50%.
that should give you enough uh, help to get to get started on these. Finish them up yourself, and then we'll go over them in a, in a bit. But try it yourself first. See if you can finish those up. Finish these with C and E. You do not have to use 20 and 10. You guys can choose your own sizes. In fact, it looks more like 20 and 12 to me now, now that I'm looking at it. I'm gonna go with 20 and 12. You can use 20 and 10. It doesn't matter what sizes, uh, as long as you follow the rules that they say here and see what happens to it. No, you need to do this. Put the phone away. All right, guys, get to put, finish these three, see if you can get your answers. You divided this, what did you get for your decimal? 0 0.68, which means that this is, you get almost 70% or 0.7 grams per dollar for B, so A is out. B is a better deal. You still have to check C and E. Uh, C is at 20%, so clearly it's going to be 2 grams, and E is going to be 3 grams. Uh, D is 2.5. Uh, e is going to be 3 grams because it's at 30%. It's right here. Now, uh, this one costs 350. This was for uh, A, B. This is C cost 250 and e was five dollars and what you're going to do is get some decimals for these and compare them and you should be able to compare the price for protein with this one it says that bc and ad were increased by by being doubled so instead of 20, they're now going to be 40. So I'm going to redraw it. Now you'll notice I didn't draw it as wide because they said that we're going to reduce this by 50%. So put your new dimensions in. It's going to be 40 this way and 40 down here. And the height is going to be changed from 12 to 6 for mine. If you used a different one, uh, see what area you had before, see what area you have now, and compare them. This last one, you're going to take 20% of 140 pounds. 50% uh, of 60 pounds is just 30, 30 pounds. So this part right here, we lost 30 pounds of raspberries. Find out how much you lost in tomatoes and then figure out what the percentage change is.